So, Amen. let's get ready. Amen. He is something great. Before we do that, let's grab our swords. Let's grab our swords. And let's go ahead and uh, say this. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. Praise God. We're growing from glory to glory to glory. Amen. We're growing. We're not babies anymore. We're moving on. And we're not letting the enemy have his way anymore. Amen. 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 Instead of him keeping us on the run, we want to put him on the run. Yeah. Amen. We also want to tell him, I got a message for you. And just tell him, you belong under my feet. So if you got a message for him, just write devil under there. <laughs> Say, that's where you belong. Under my feet. Amen. That's right. Under my feet. So get ready to receive church and all of you that are watching and listening. This is the one thing we must always do is be ready. Yes. Amen. So happy Palm Sunday morning to you. And we welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Todos los que nos están escuchando, oyéndonos, los bienvenidos a todos. Y prepárense para recibir lo que el Señor tenga para ustedes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus' triumphant entry. Amen. Amen. One day, one day, all of us have... Uh, different testimonies, but one day Jesus made a triumphant entry into your heart. Yes. You opened up and you let him in. Amen. Praise God. This is awesome. Happy Palm Sunday. Yeah, keep going. What's the next one? Have a blessed Palm Sunday. Hosanna to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Yeah. Matthew 21 9. Go ahead. These are good. Happy Palm Sunday. Ooh. Jesus is the Lord. Keep going. There we go. Just leave it right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. So get yourself ready to receive. He wants to bless you. Allow the word. Listen, allow the word. And you got to let it in. Allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, convict you, uh, rebuke you, whatever. Yeah, right. yeah, but you got to let it come in. Yes. Amen. You got to let it come in. Uh, does he know good? Uh, just reject it. Might as well just receive it. It's for you. And let it change you. Amen. Let it bless you. So let's move on. Praise God. Jesus triumphant entry. Happy Palm Sunday. This is the start of Holy Week. Palm Sunday today. Comes all this week. Events could happening. Good Friday coming up and Resurrection Sunday coming. Amen. Amen. I want to start off with a with a joke. <laughs> I want to start off with something. No, I want to start with something funny. This little boy is sick. On Palm Sunday, so he stays home with his mom. His father comes home from, from church with a palm branch. So the little boy's curious. He asks, what do you have there? Where'd you get that palm branch, Dad? And while well, he's quoting the uh, pastor's message, he says, when Jesus came to town, everyone was waving palms, so we honored him. So we got some palm branches. And the little boy says, oh, man, how <laughs> you miss one Sunday and Jesus shows up? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's funny, but how many times do we miss him? <laughs> he shows up all the time. Remember, church alive is worth the drive, the drive or the walk. <laughs> so he's here all the time, and every time you miss, you miss him. Yes. No, not really. Remember, you are the church. Wherever you are, he says he's with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. But you got to spend some time with him. You have to have a relationship with him. And this is what the whole thing is about. Have a relationship with him. Amen. Wherever you are, he is. And you can have, you don't want to miss him. He never misses you as we miss him. Because we avoid, we make excuses, we make all kind of things to avoid him. And let's not do that anymore. Amen. Because he's there all the time. He said he never leaves in the forsake us. You can write these down says all four gospel writers include this event of this Palm Sunday in their gospels. Amen. We're going to be reading uh, Matthew 21, 1 through 11. This is the text we're using. But Mark also records it in 11, chapter 11, 1 through 11. And uh, Luke 19, 28 through 40. And John 12, 12 through 19. Not so okay. all the gospels. <laughs> where, 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 where did I leave you? Repeat. Yeah. Okay. No. 
over. <laughs> Slow. Okay. Today we're going to be reading the text, which is Matthew 21, 11 through, one excuse through me, 11. 1 through 11. Okay. And then Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. And then Luke uh, chapter 19, verse 28 through 40. And John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. So all the Gospels talked about uh -huh. Jesus' triumphant entry Amen. for Palm Sunday. Amen. This week precedes the Jewish Passover was a time when all the Jews all over the world came and made the journey to visit Jerusalem. Josephus, a Jewish historian, re recorded this. He established that over two million gathered for this Passover. <laughs> Amen. So let's turn over to our text, which is Matthew 21, 1 through 11. You can follow it. I'm going to read it. I already have it wrote up here. Jesus triumphant entry. Jesus enters Jerusalem as a king. This is the week before his crucifixion and his resurrection. Verse 1 says, you follow yours. Now when they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethany at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples. Verse 2, saying to them, go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. Verse 3, and if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, the Lord has need of them. And immediately he will send them. Verse 4, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet saying, verse 5, tell the daughters of Zion, behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on the donkey, a colt, the fault of a donkey. Six. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. And seven says, They brought the donkey and the colt, laid their clothes, clothes on them, and sat on him. And verse eight. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others caught down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Nine. That a multitude who had who went before them, before, excuse me, who went before, and those who followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And verse 10. And when he had come into Jerusalem, all, this, uh, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? In verse 11. So the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, of Galilee. Mm -hmm. So all this week, Jesus, during this holy week, entered Jerusalem as an exalted king, high, glorious, noble, and dignified. Yes. <laughs> a week later, he's rejected and crucified by the same people. The crowd then seen Jesus call Nazareth back. The same Jesus that, that called Nazareth back to life and told others. Many came because they heard of mighty miracles. Mm -hmm. During this week, many turned from him, mocked him, and ridiculed him. So Jesus comes in and they see him as the great king. So he comes in Jerusalem as a triumphant king. Is he your king today? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes. Beginning of Holy Week. Great events happening this week that are recorded. The Lamb of God gives us a new commandment. First he does, he loves, he says to love God. Let's go here to John chapter 13. The Gospel of John, chapter 13. He gives us a new commandment. The Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Mine is in red, so yours should be in red as well. This is Jesus speaking. It says, A new commandment I give you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love to one another. So a commandment is not just something that you take from it. A command is a command. <laughs> I spent many years in the military, retired military, and I know when a command is given, you don't just ignore it. You have to obey. <laughs> After this, the Last Supper is a final a meal that Jesus here with his apostles in Jerusalem before his crucifixion. 
Another event is Jesus washes his disciples' feet. Yes. yes. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave. So, in John and in and Matthew, Jesus it says that Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Mm -hmm. And he is the greatest example of servant. Yes. The Bible says that if you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be the servant, servant of all. all. He washed his disciples' feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, he might ask you to do something that you say, well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but Jesus being our greatest example, he's already showed us. Amen. Yes, if you want to be great, you must humble yourself Amen. and serve his people. Not just those you like, <laughs> but his people. Amen. Amen. So we must be servant of all. Uh, John 13, chapter 13, 1 through 17 talks about this. And Matthew 20, 28 talks about Jesus came to serve, to serve, not to be served. And he showed a great example of how to serve. He also predicts his betrayal. Jesus predicts uh, Peter's uh, denial. Peter was ready to fight for him. Yes. He says, no matter what they say, I will stand for you. I will fight for you. <laughs> but before the clock, clock cock crows three times, he says, you'll deny me three times. Yes. Can you say that three times? No, no, I can't say that three times. <laughs> and guess what? At the third time, cock crowed. And Peter turned and looked to Jesus. Jesus right. looking at him. Mm -hmm. He already knew. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. But you know what? Many times we've been to a point where we might have failed him. Yeah. But he's never given up on us. Because after this, God uses Jesus uses him in a mighty way. Yes, he does. To preach some awesome anointed services where people, thousands, come to know Christ. Yeah. Amen. So yeah. he don't give up on you. So don't give up on yourself. Amen. You know, we're hard on ourselves. So-and-so says, you know, if you if you sin and, and you deny Jesus three times, well, he don't want to use you anymore. He's done with you. He's finished with you. That's a big lie. Yes, amen. Because he proves right here that he called you. He approved you. He called you. And he's equipped you. And he sent you on this mission. And even though we failed him, all you have to do is just get yourself up and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. And press on. That means... You got to go on. He's not finished with you. We're still here. And there's still work to be done. Amen. Yes. And uh, he says he's not coming back till all have heard. Yeah. Or had a chance to accept him. So we're still here. So we need we still need to be out there spreading the good news in this bad world. Yes, amen. <laughs> That's the only good news you're gonna hear. Yeah. Everything else is no bueno. Mm. Not good. <laughs> he predicts his betrayal. He also predicts Peter's denial. Mm -hmm. In John 14, 6, I love this one. <laughs> Jesus told his disciples, he told them, he said, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how you plan on getting to heaven. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't going through Jesus, you ain't going. You ain't going. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> You're not going. You're going somewhere, but you ain't going to heaven. You ain't going to heaven. If you haven't received Jesus, your Lord say you, now's the time. Yes. We just yes. say it. Yes. Lord yes. Jesus, yes. just say it. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I've sinned against you. I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you. Yes. 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 My Lord and Savior. You, yes. Lord, 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 you, you go to a Bible-based yes. church just like this one. Church of life yes. worth the God. Amen. And get yourself there and start learning the things of God, Amen. the Word of God. Amen. 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 God. And grow and yeah. mature in His Word. And don't let no one or no, anything uh -huh. keep you from heaven. Amen. Yes, right. Amen. Praise Amen. God. He says, that's his word. John 14, 6. Mm -hmm. He says, I am the way, the only way. Yeah. I said, I, he is the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Mm -hmm. No one can go to the Father except through me. Yes. He didn't mention any other names. That's right. He right. said, except through me. me. Yeah. So, Amen. If you want to get to heaven, there's only two places you can go. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're neutral, you're still going the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're hot, you're cold, or <laughs> if you're lukewarm, you're still going the other way. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to, if you want to be saved, if you want to be in God's kingdom, if you want to go to heaven, 
you go through Jesus and yeah. receive him as Lord and Savior. Now you know that you're going to heaven and you have eternal life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. He says, if I go, I will leave the yeah. Holy Spirit and the Comforter. In verse of John 14, 26, he says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, yes. he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things mm -hmm. that I said to you. Yes. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. He is here. He's our Helper. <laughs> Amen. So, you know, once in a while we start to think and it says, you know, something told me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something told me the Father using the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. It's not this building. Mm -hmm. This building is not holy. Your body is holy. Yeah. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So he says, Something told me. Well, this something is the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bringing thoughts, remembrance to you about what God wants to say to you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> John 15, 1 through 2 says, we're talking about the true vine. Jesus says, Jesus says, I am the vine, the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch, verse 2, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he will take away. And every branch that bears fruit, he will prune. That it may bear more fruit. Amen. So you bear it. <laughs> And it bears more fruit. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. He is yes, the vine and we are the branches. So we need him. He's our source. Amen. There's no other source. <laughs> this world is not your source. Amen. If you want your eternal life, you stay hooked to the source. You Amen. stay hooked to the power. Amen. John 15, 18, 18 says, the world haters, I want you to know this. Because sometimes we find ourselves where, well, you feel isolated. It's just me, you know. Uh, the world hates me. If you're trying to be a man, please, they're going to hate you anyway. Yes. So why not love him? It says, the world hates you, but know this. It hated me before it hated you. So you might as well make up your mind right now. If you're going to try to be a world pleaser, <laughs> they're going to hate you, period. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do. You can't please them. Right. Just be a God pleaser. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Say, Lord, <laughs> thank you for loving me. Thank you for all you've done for me. And thank you for all you're doing for me. We must be willing to be able to continue the work of Jesus in this world. Amen. Sharing the kingdom of God. <clears throat> Amen. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Sharing what the kingdom of God should look like. Through your words and your actions. I want you to write this down. And you've heard me say this before. Through your words and your actions. You are the only Bible some unbelievers will ever read. You may never see them open a Bible. But you are the only Bible some unbelievers will ever read. And they're reading you. Your words, your actions. They're watching you. <laughs> Yeah, or you can say it like this. You may be the only Bible some people read. Amen. I've got it a third way here. You may be the only Jesus mm. some people will ever see. Mm. You may be the only Jesus they'll ever see. Mm -hmm. wow. You're not Jesus, but you are. There, there you go. You're a Jesus representative. Oh, Amen. Jesus representative. You are the only Jesus some people will ever see. Yeah. Amen. The silent, innocent king stands in front of earthly powers where he is beaten, spat on, and found guilty and crucified. I'm getting way ahead of myself, but let me read this to you. Yeah. <laughs> At the trial, they shouted, crucify him. It was a popular thing. We're talking about crowd pleasers or going with the flow. People pleasers. Mm -hmm. 
another popular thing to do was this. Making Barabbas a mass murderer and criminal their heroes. They shouted, we want Barabbas. Mm -hmm. And then they shouted also, crucify Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so be careful who you follow. <laughs> Amen. Be careful who you follow. What is a popular thing to do or is a popular thing to say? Mm. Well, be careful what you say. We've been talking about watching words. Mm. Know your God. If you have a relationship with your God, you know who he is. Mm -hmm. And relationship is all about being with him and growing and maturing in him. Amen. Right. So praise God. Friday comes. A crown of thorns. Remember, Jesus came into Jerusalem as a king. Yeah. So they crowned him. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Mm. <laughs> they crucified him, executed him, executed him for you and for me. Mm -hmm. And they uh, drive nails in his hands and his feet. Now, check yourself. Do we betray Jesus like his disciples? Mm. Seeking things instead of him. Seeking blessings instead of the blessed Lord. Yes. Seeking things instead of peace and understanding. Mm. Making excuses for not assembling ourselves together. Mm. Making excuses for not serving him or serving his people. Mm. You don't understand. <laughs> Nobody's been in worse than Jesus was. Mm. And we can't say, well, you have never been through this. Because he went through worse. <laughs> we don't have it as hard as he did. And he never backed down. And he fulfilled what the Father sent him to do. Well, he sent this on a, on a, on a mission also. Mm -hmm. He picked you. And you're on this mission. And we're going to fulfill our mission. But we need him. We need our source. We need this relationship with him. To continue to do what he's called us to do. To be strong enough to continue. When you want to give up. But you say, Lord, I need your strength. Every day. I need you every day. To continue this. And to do what you've called me to do. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You yes. need Him. Amen. Praise God. We need Him all. Or do we abandon Him like His disciples? Going about our daily lives as if Jesus never existed. Mm. <laughs> We've said it like this before. You know, once in a while we give Him this uh, spare time treatment. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> we treat it, you know. <laughs> We know we have a spare tire in our car, but we only bring it out in case of emergencies. emergencies. So, you know, hey, we got Jesus in our pocket, you know, and <laughs> if we need it, we bring him out in case of emergencies. You lucky charm. You lucky charm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta be we gotta be careful. Yes. He doesn't like this. He's hot, cold, but not lukewarm. Not you know? lukewarm. Not lukewarm. Yeah. Don't play games with him. Amen. This is not the way to treat him. Amen. <laughs> Denying him as Peter. Many have forgotten about him. We must not. Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Still, we reject him. We disobey him and we abandon him. Let's not go there anymore, you know. We used to, not anymore. We got to press on with him. Yes. Lord, you know yeah. my faults. You know what I need? Mm -hmm. I need you. Yeah. You know, don't see your lacks. See what you have. We have so many things in him. We have so many blessings. He's blessed us so much. You know, we must press on. Don't see your weaknesses. See your strength. See yourself in him. See the way he sees you. We've got the I am's out there that you can just grab and read and, and, and practice those. We got yeah. those from the word. You know, read your word. Read the Bible. Yeah. But you're 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 a champion. You're a winner. You're an overcomer. You're more than Amen. a conquer. Amen. Amen. Yes. All, all oh, these yeah. things. Yeah. And you, you have to, you know, if you go out into the world, the you know, uh, they'll try to put you down, mm. and you'll forget about these things. But you got to bring them back to. He says, mm. renew your mind to the things of God. Renew your mind. Amen. Amen. Give yourself a spiritual bath often. You know. Because we need it. we got to wash the world off. Yeah. So we can press on with Him. Feed on the Word. Amen. Your spirit man, feed on the Word. Your mind renewed with the Word of God. Amen. And crucified the flesh. Because the flesh, mm -hmm. He just wants to kick back. 
be comforted. This conquering king, Jesus, rode on a donkey and climbed up a tree and died for you and for me. So that many experience the abundance of life here and eternal life with him in heaven. Amen. Amen. You know, riding on the donkey is just humility. He says, when he comes back, he's going to be riding mm -hmm. a white horse. A white horse. A white horse with a sword in his hand. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's going to be, he's going to be king. He is king of kings. Yes. Lord, Lord. Yes. Amen. And he's going to be the yes. mighty king. He's king of kings and Lord yes. of Lords. Praise God. Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Only the gospels, the good news offer this. The lost and the blind mm -hmm. world cannot offer it. Fortune, fame, families, friends cannot buy it. You can only get it through the passion of the Christ. I'm sure they're going to be showing their passion of the Christ over and over and over yes. this, this week. <laughs> the shed blood of Jesus, knowing that he's called, equipped, approved you, and gifted you. Know this. You go. If you're listening to the world, and if you try to qualify like the world, they, they're going to disqualify you every time. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified. The world's competing, bless you. The world's competing. Mm -hmm. And you're not good enough for them. You're not qualified for them. Hmm. You are qualified because He qualified you, because yes. He approved you, because He yeah. called you, and He's equipped you, and He's gifted you. You know those gifts He's given you? He's not taking them back. Mm -hmm. So find out what gifts you got mm -hmm. so that you can use them for Him. Yes. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Know that you can do all things through him. Know that you're a winner, you're the champion, and you're the overcomer he's called to be. And see yourself the way he sees you. And you know, not only that, but when you go out into the world, don't see the faults in all people because it's easy. Put your Jesus glasses on. Yeah. And then you love him and have compassion on him. Mm. The same Jesus that died for you died for them. Yes. Amen. Amen. He might have you say something to one of them, and you might say, I don't like that person. <laughs> and Jesus will tell you, he didn't like no one that crucified him either. But you know, at the end, he told the Father, forgive him. So, can we? <laughs> Love him because he loved you. Love him because he wants you to minister to him. We're his body. He's the head, we're the body. And he can only use the body to minister to these people. Mm -hmm. And you're his ministers of reconciliation. You're also his mouthpiece on earth. Mm -hmm. So how is he going to get his word out? Mm -hmm. Through you. So know that you can do all things through him. Yeah. So put your Jesus glasses of love and compassion. And see people. Don't see their shortcomings. Mm -hmm. Just know that the same Jesus died for you. Died for them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. The passion of Jesus' story should change the way we think and live and serve it. If the cross and the life and the death and resurrection of Jesus does not make you realize this, then you need to get saved. All right. You need to get saved. <laughs> God loved us so much. John 3.16 says, mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he yes. gave his only begotten yes. Son. Yes. He crucified, mm -hmm. he sacrificed his Son yes, for us. He did. That we might have life and life more abundantly, he says, he comes. Amen. Amen. So also in these eventful weeks, Jesus was crucified begins with a tremendous exaltation. Some have accompanied him for the uh, last three and a half years. Mm -hmm. He is recognized as the coming king. They have received him as the coming king. By the end of the week, the majority will reject, mock, and ridicule him. Mm -hmm. Crucify him as an imposter and a criminal. Right. Mm -hmm. And what they do with the criminal, yeah. they say, we want Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Release Barabbas. Yes. Crucify Jesus. Isn't this bad? You know, a while back when everybody's going around saying, bad for good? Oh, man, that's bad. Meaning, oh, man, that's good. <laughs> mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Totally, totally, totally yeah. crazy. Releasing a criminal in exchange for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know Jesus could have spoke a lot of these times, but he never said a thing. Yeah. yeah. This week, 
they would turn their hearts. Their hearts turned away and no longer see him as the promised king. Even one of his disciples betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. Amazing. Amazing. Jesus, after the Last Supper, Jesus dismissed Judas. Uh -huh. Jesus already knew. And he, we're eating supper. Well, he knew even before then, but we're eating supper. And Jesus says, Judas, you're dismissed. How do you know Jesus? Judas had to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. He says, Judas, you're dismissed. Mm -hmm. Go and do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Jesus knew from the time that he came from heaven that he was to be sacrificed. So he dismissed Judas and says, you dismissed. Mm -hmm. As soon as Judas walked away from there, says the devil came in him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Says the devil entered. Mm -hmm. wow. Peter says, I'm ready to fight for you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, you'll deny me three times. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> what about us? What does he know about you? He knows everything about you. Amen. Amen. If it was about false, we'd never do anything. Mm. Amen. But still, he sees, he's called us. Yeah. And he sees the best in us. Yes, Amen. he does. For God so loved us that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We must be sold out to him, not. We must be sold out. Amen. Amen. So many elements are in the world today. People turning their backs on the king. Mm -hmm. Some of them turning their back on each other. Mm -hmm. we, must, we must not do this. We must not do this. Let me read this to you. Choose daily to honor him by giving him your best. Why? Because he gave his best. Withholding nothing. Give him your all. Totally surrender and commit yourself to him. You can do that on a daily basis. Lord, I'm, I'm yours. I surrender myself to you on a daily basis as you go before him and spend time with him. Go to the next one. Lord. Sis. They took palm branches and it went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna. Hosanna meaning, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Praise God. Amen. So in this Palm Sunday, and in closing, Amen. I want to leave you with this. What does Jesus triumphant entry mean to you? Let me leave you with three words of application. Believe that Jesus is your Messiah, serve him as a king and proclaim his praises. For God so loved the world that he gave himself for us. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Be his servant. Yes, amen. You know, it's okay to serve. Amen. If he showed us how to serve, he didn't come to be served, but he says, but he came to serve. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. Amen. Amen. Let's remember him. we got all this week. <laughs> We're going to be um, learning more. And Friday coming. And Sunday coming. Next Sunday also we have our fellowship. Amen. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, Brother Ryan is going to be with us. So he knows, he knows that. So anyway, I just want to close that. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to share your word, Father. Help us, Lord, not to forget about you, Lord, but to be strong in you and continue to do your work, Father. And Father, we just give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.